Uh, I've been doing it for approximately, I would say about a year, roughly. And I really like seeing the overall drawing, the drawings that are done afterwards, like seeing how I'm rendered, how people, as an artist, it's just, it's, it's interesting to see. Well, uh, my routine, I think like everyone has changed a lot over the last year plus because of COVID. Uh, but normally I go to the gym about four to five days a week. I do legs twice a week. I do a lot of squats. I do every leg exercise in the book. One day at the gym, I do the front of my legs, so I'll do my quads, um, and I'll just focus on that by itself, just quads, and a little bit of calves as well. And then the second day at the gym with my legs, I'll do my uh, the back of my legs, my thighs, and my calves again. So, And also my, my ass on that day too. And it was not always this way, unfortunately. I was born with a very, very flat ass. It was terrible. I was actually teased for it in high school at one point. A girl came up behind me and she said, she said, poor thing, ain't got no booty. I was just like, ruined my life. So two words, no bottom ones to hear. And I did cheat a little bit. I had some fat transfer. So shh, don't tell anybody. That's a secret between you, me, and the, the audience. Because naturally I'm thin, so I have to eat constantly to put on any weight at all. But I force myself to eat a lot, go to the gym a lot when I can. This Adonis that you see in front of you, this fat Adonis, that's, that's, what, uh, that's what you get. Luckily at my job, I have a, a gym. So that's the only saving grace. Well, it's a very short story. Oh, it's just, I like tattoos. My first one was on my back. It's a gecko. I got that when I was, the minute I could leave home, I got a tattoo. It's my celebratory first thing to do. I love octopuses because they're extremely intelligent. So that's what this one is. That's the griffin from Alice in Wonderland. And that's the lobster with the hairbrush from Alice in Wonderland. It's my favorite story of all time. And that's uh, Cthulhu. Cthulhu. He's a, a character from H.P. Lovecraft. I went to school for uh, animation originally. And I was employed making video games, 2D animation video games, for approximately two and a half years, uh, fresh out of college. Um, Unfortunately, it was right before 9-11 and everything just closed down and my studio folded uh, and I didn't go back. Um, so I was trained doing animation. I also went to school for interior design. And uh, but when I speak of my art, as far as drawing, I do figure drawing, I make comics, um, still life, I do oil painting, I kind of slowed down drawing. And then once I had my daughter, I just really slowed down a lot. I don't really do much artwork. I did some this weekend, which was nice. Uh, most of the art that I do these days is actually with her. I sit down and I draw stuff with her and teach her to paint. Um, but yeah, I just I just slowed down. I, I got into being a boring old adult. And uh, all I care about now is paying rent, taking care of my kid. And I just don't set aside the time for art that I used to, unfortunately. And I'm like, hmm, huge gamer. Play a lot of video games. Um, I love to travel. So my ideal is culture shock. My last real culture shock probably was Vietnam or Thailand. Uh, and also I went to Morocco recently. That was also a very culture shock. I'm riding a camel, I'm in the desert. It's just, it's like nothing I've seen before. So that, that's my ideal. And of course, hot guys, that's a plus.